Hello people, welcome back to the channel. The teaser for Akshay Kumar Starred Gold came out a few months ago. And since then, there have been three or four trailers uh, of hockey-based movies that have come out. There's a very short video that has come out for Gold again. It seems like this is a bonanza year for hockey fans. There are so many movies that have come out uh, on hockey. So it will be quite interesting to compare this with all the others and see what Akshay Kumar is doing. So let's go and watch this new video for Gold called Stand Up For Gold uh, starring Akshay Kumar. Stand. Very interesting. He, he got me at the beginning. I was just looking around to see, can I stand up and still be on camera and what do I, what do I have to do? I think it definitely gives a hint as to what the tone of the movie would be. And Akshay Kumar is quite good at uh, bringing up this nationalistic feeling in his movies. Amir Khan is rightly regarded as a marketing genius. His role in Dangal is a good example how he promoted the movie. Uh, his role was such a short one and he was in center stage of that of that movie. But he very cleverly marketed his body transformation to generate interest in the movie. Not in terms of marketing the movie, but in terms of understanding the pulse of the nation and what would work in the market. Akshay Kumar is right up there with the best. He is probably the actor who has transformed the most from the start of his career. He did all these Khiladi movies, action-based roles, uh, and then slowly he transitioned into... Uh, comic roles, so he did some really good comic movies. Hera Peri is, the, is is a classic. That's a great example. And over the recent years, he has transitioned into doing movies with this, uh, with a very nationalistic feel. At least so far, he hasn't overdone it. I think he has he has injected the right dose in it. And he also does other movies with a great social message. So he did Toiletic Prem Katha, and then he did Padman. He is probably the actor who has transformed the most and transformed the most effectively from what he used to do in the past. So normally you would expect a teaser is out, which was already out for cold, and then there should be a trailer, and then the movie will come out. So follow the usual regime of how these videos are released, maybe release a few songs here and there. But I think this is very clever, putting out this short video uh, and tying it into the date on which this will be released, so 15th August. What better day to release a movie like this? There isn't anything new that they have shown, but just this one scene where he is standing up, looking at the camera, and then he pulls out this flag. It's enough to give anyone goosebumps. It's not often that that happens to me. I, unsurprisingly, I go out and see a lot of reaction channels and their reaction videos. One of the things that I've noticed happening just a bit too frequently is that everybody gets goosebumps on almost every other scene. If there was a scene that rightly deserved that reaction, it is this one. I think it was very effective and it was positioned very cleverly how he's saying stand up for national anthem. So what would be your natural reaction? You, you, you would like to stand up and then he puts out the British national anthem. So I'm sure like me, you when you see it for the first time, you are a bit confused. Like, what's going on and then he shows that emotion of what those players would have felt and then his little act of rebellion uh, pulling out the Indian flag. There wasn't enough to be seen but I hope they've at least got the flag right because the flag that we have now wasn't what, what it was uh, before independence. So the, sw the spinning wheel was where now we have the Ashok Chak. But like I said, there wasn't enough to be enough for me to see and judge whether they've got it right. It's an important detail. I will be very, very surprised if they miss it. If they do miss it, I think that I'll be very, very disappointed. But I'm pretty sure this is an easy detail to to get right. So I'm sure they will do it. Frankly, this video makes me much more interested in, in the trailer compared to the teaser. I think the teaser was all right, but this gives me a much better insight into what the tone of the movie would be like. I think this movie will be much more focused on the emotions of the players and their feelings of being Indian, but not 
playing for India, if you get what I mean, rather than the actual action on the hockey field. I am sure that will be an important part of uh, the story. But Akshay Kumar's role is not that of the player. I think he is the coach. So I expect more attention to be paid uh, off the hockey field. But any hockey-based movie, it will be gross injustice if there are not some great uh, action scenes on the hockey field. And this was a glorious period, so it will be a shame to miss out on some of those great moments. Like I said, I am now much more eagerly awaiting the trailer than I was after seeing the teaser. Let me know if you agree with that. Let me know what you thought. Uh, write it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me your suggestions and I will try my best to react to those. Until next time, bye-bye.